Up to 1939, the country which I think produced the finest quality cameras was definitely Germany, with the likes of things like Leica and Zeiss and Vortlander, high quality cameras were produced. Now, obviously, after the Second World War, the economy of Europe was in a pretty bad state. And it's interesting to note that there was import restrictions on things like cameras into the UK market. Now, this gave an advantage to UK companies to produce things like cameras. And you actually had a flourishing camera industry for a short amount of time. And that included companies like Enzyme and Kodak. And the company I'm talking about today is AGA. Sorry, AGI. AGI, Autonautic General Instruments. And they were based in Coydon. And they were making things like sites for airplanes and optical instruments, a lot to do with surveillance. But they went into camera productions, um, sorry, it went into camera production and did things like uh, Aggie Fold, uh, a Aggie Flets, and this thing called the Aggie Matic which is a fascinating 35 millimeter camera with quite a lot of different features. It looks extremely similar to something like the Fortlander Vito, Vito B and it was out at the same time. This came out in 1959. The first feature I find fascinating on this camera is the shutter not only releases the shutter and sets the shutter, it also winds the film on. So that is quite a unique feature. It has to open the back. The back slides off, it's not hinged. You don't have a pressure plate. You've got this little plate here, which is hinged and goes over the film. The winding on is fascinating because it just, rather than a sort of crank, it winds on here, just, just there. To wind the film back, you've got a wind back lever, which is very similar to a wind on lever in most cameras, but in this camera, it winds the film back. You've got a range finder here. It's not coupled. Now, a coupled range finder is where you look into the viewfinder and you see a little image in the middle and you match the two images together and that gives you the focus point completely. In the uncoupled, you still do the same of matching the two images together, but you take a reading from this little part here and that tells you how many feet away. So, you put the two images together, then you alter your focus here. So this camera, not only has it got its manual focus, but it's, uh, you've got a range finder. It also has a exposure meter, but it's what is called an extinction meter, which is slightly strange in that it all works on numbers which are illuminated and you look through the little viewfinder to the meter and you should see it says the easiest number to see is the number that you then register on the top and take a reading from. Now, unfortunately, extinction meters are very variable according to your eye. So they I would say they are not a very accurate meter, but they are a very cheap meter to put on a camera. So those, and apparently the, this lens comes off as well and you can add a lens. And you've got a little here, you uh, a frame for a telephoto lens. So this would appear on the surface to be quite a camera with a lot of features. However, there is a downside. I've had a couple of these and the one I bought several years ago, I put a film through, I was slightly disappointed how soft the photographs are. And 
with this camera I was really excited about it. It all seemed to be working and it is working but the images are incredibly soft and whether there's a problem with the focusing I'm not completely sure. I think there could also be a slight problem. These shutters were quite well known to not to be the most accurate shutters and the images to me look a little bit overexposed so we could be having a bit of camera shake there as well. I'm not sure. I think it's more the quality of the lens. I will put a couple of images that I took on here. So a really interesting camera that unfortunately in my experience the quality of the images actually lets it down but fascinating all the same and especially from a collecting point of view if you find a little Acumatic or even an Acu-Lutch which was the camera that I think came after it or something similar um, you might want to add one to your collection. So thank you for watching today. Bye for now.